Hi, how's it going? This is Blair from Centro Otago Motor Group. Today I'm bringing you a video doing a full walk around of the Kia EV9, one of the most innovative large SUV EVs on the market right now. Now we are a Kia authorized dealer, so we can order one of these for you and get it spec'd exactly how you want it. So if you want one of these, just hit me up. My phone number is 027-256-7738. I'll give you more information about our dealership and hours at the end of the video. But first off, let's take a look at this beautiful front grille. Now this is the nice thing about EVs that you have this very streamlined, kind of futuristic, cyberpunk-esque design going on here, as well as the mini LED units right there in the headlight. And you got a daytime running light right there, which runs from the top, as you can see there, all the way down to the sub grill there. Pretty unique design feature, and when you're on the road, it's instantly recognizable. Stepping over to the side profile here, you got a very unique look, just like the front. I mean, it does carry over that futuristic style. Again, reminds me of Blade Runner or Cyberpunk or something like that. Very cool rims, looks kind of off-roady, but also futuristic, kind of denoting, hey, look, this thing may be an EV, but it is still extremely capable on-road and off-road. Black gloss wheel arches, a neat touch to that is that it carries over through the running board area all the way to the back arch, so it has a nice continuity there as well. Now, this model does have tinted windows. Most of them do come like that. Flush door handles here. That is a neat feature on most EVs that Kia is making right now. So when you unlock, the doors actually just pop open like that, and when you lock the car, it goes back in. How cool is that? And I love this rear seat pillar here, how it arches up and goes over like it's kind of flying away. Rear styling on the car, very unique, very cool. Tail lights are very angular and aggressive. Same deal with the rear hatch, having this kind of protruding body line right there. Same deal there. And of course, down there is more gloss black, but I wanna give you a look at the rear seats. So here in the rear of the vehicle, this specific EV9 has a very unique cream and black two-tone interior option. Very nice leather interior. Uh, you also have heated seats and ventilated seats in the back here, and that's controlled right here on the door card. As well as your speakers and a little cubby hole for water or whatever drink your rear passenger may have. Taking a seat, you got so much space, it is unbelievable. I'm about six foot, six foot one. My knees aren't even close to touching the back of this seat. Uh, more on the interior front in a moment, but first, take a look at this. You got rear cup holders here. You got storage cubbies there. And if you want more cup holders, you just bring that down, boom, there you go. Now these seats are actually reclinable and you can bring them down. So they're very adjustable. As you can see, this one is more reclined than the other one. And this vehicle does have a third row that I have folded down right here. Now I wanna show you the rear practicality and what that space looks like from the back of the vehicle. Rear power tailgate. And look at all that space, look at that. Isn't that impressive? I mean, it's not a massive vehicle. This isn't a Chevy Tahoe, but they still, because it's an EV, are able to package it in such a way that you have a ton of space on the back of this vehicle. Even if you have the thir third row up, your space is still from there to there. That's better than pretty much any three row crossover on the market at the moment. You also have rear parking sensors back here rear cross traffic alert, and all those great safety features that are on all of these new Kias. You got a button right here that closes it right up. But now I wanna show you the best part of this car, the interior from the driver's seat. Now, before I open the door, what looks off here to you? Does that look like a mirror to you? No, it doesn't. That's because on the inside of the vehicle, you got your mirrors on a display here. I've never seen that on any kind of vehicle. Very unique, very innovative. All right, so inside the cockpit of the EV9, the first thing you're gonna look at when you get inside this vehicle is of course the steering wheel. So what's on the steering wheel? Right here, you got all of your safety controls at the reach of your thumb. You got your adaptive cruise control, front following distance and collision alert, lane keep, and then you got your pages for the center screen here. So it can go through all of your quick settings and all that good stuff as well as your trip info. On the right side, you got your mode and star button. Those are both mappable. You can set it up to do pretty much whatever you want, as well as your volume and your phone controls. Now, another cool feature on the EV9 and the steering wheel area is gonna be the shifter. So you got your power button right here and to put it in drive, you twist up. To put it in reverse, you twist down. Very cool 
feature. I have not seen that on another three row crossover, especially not one like the EV9. Coming over to the infotainment area, you got a 360 simulated view on your vehicle here. You do have a couple other angles as well. Super high resolution. And over here, you got your bird's eye view. Coming down a little bit, you got cool haptic touch buttons here. So you can always hit that to go home. It gives you a little vibrate. On the home screen, you're gonna see your maps, your radio, and your EV mode. Now, when you tap that, it goes into a couple other features here where you can see your basic information, some statistics, your charging settings, and then you got overall settings right here. Um, now that's pretty cool. You can actually set it up to know when you're gonna charge it to prime the battery and all that good stuff. Climate controls, down here an actual hard buttons. Very nice touch from Kia there because most vehicles that are electric just put it in the screen, which is very annoying. Down here, you got your charging points. You got a USB-C that you can push this here for your 12 volt outlet. So you're hooked up there, fast charging speeds. Nice feature that Kia is doing now with the cup holder area. You can slide away the dividers to just have an open area. But if you hit the button, it brings it back up. Down here, you got your parking sensors button, your camera, hill descent control, and your auto hold. Right here is your wireless charger. You just slot your phone in right there. You are good to go. Very neat feature there. And of course, you got some cubby room down here. You can adjust the seat here for your passenger. The rear passengers can do that as well if nobody's sitting here and they want more leg room. Um, rear camera for the mirror, pretty, pretty neat. Dual sunroofs right there and right there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all the features of the Kia EV9. If you want any more info, feel free to reach out to me. I'll give you more information about myself now. So like I said, my name is Blair. I'm a sales consultant here at Centro Otago Motor Group. If you're located around New Zealand, whether you're on the North Island or the South Island, don't hesitate to hit me up. We're a family owned dealership. We take care of our customers and I'm always by my phone to answer any questions you might have. We've just extended our hours, by the way, from not being open on Sunday to being open. And on Saturday, we're now open from nine to four. So my contact info is 027-256-7738. And my email is blair at comg.co.nz. I'd love to hear from you. Reach out. You can even reach out on any other vehicle besides the EV9 because we got the full lineup of Kia, Suzuki, Ram, Jeep, Hyundai. I mean, anything you could really think of, we got it covered. So again, my contact info is 027-256-7738. And my email is blair at comg at .co .nz. Hope to hear from you soon. Thanks for watching the video.